In 1998, Goldberg was in the midst of his undefeated streak. On June 1st, the future WWE Hall of Famer's opponent was La Parca. The masked luchador came armed with a chair, but that was like bringing a knife to a gunfight. He's like, hit me with it, go ahead. Oh, he did. Oh my goodness. Now who doesn't need a wake-up call? Sting was 62 when he had his first match on AEW Dynamite. The icon teamed up with Darby Allin to take on the group called 2.0. Despite his age, Sting turned out to be the toughest guy in the match. Sting! Oh! Powerbomb through the table by two- Oh my god, oh, no, Sting's back up! Sting's back up! A year later, Sting found himself brawling in the crowd. His opponent got the upper hand and smacked the Stinger with a chair, but it had the complete opposite effect. Oh, just an absolute- You hear the echo there. Right before he joined WWE, Leo Rush had one of his final matches as an independent wrestler against Joey Janela. The two were fighting on a ladder when Janela grabbed Leo and gave him a nasty looking powerbomb through a table, only for Rush to get back up and act like his neck hadn't just been smashed onto the mat. Big Daddy V was one of the biggest men to ever compete in WWE. He could also take a beating, as seen during his Extreme Rules match against Tommy Dreamer. During the fight, Dreamer drove a trash can into Big Daddy's head not once, but twice, and it literally had no effect. Roman Reigns learned the hard way that Braun Strowman took the steel chair vaccine a long time ago. However, Drew Gulak did not know that, and the result was pretty humorous. Really? Easy, bro. The story of Kane in WWE was that he was burned in a fire as a kid and survived. With that in mind, the headbangers should have known a boombox would have no effect on him. Ming, or Haku, is legit one of the toughest guys in wrestling history. It shouldn't be surprising then that when Dusty Rhodes swung a chair at him, this is what happened. Oh my God. Now you're either going to think this next one is awesome or ridiculous. At TNA Impact Wrestling's biggest event of the year, Bound for Glory, Brian Cage took on Sammy Callahan. The two had a very physical match with a lot of weapons being used. Towards the end though, arguably the most dangerous weapon of them all was brought out, thumbtacks. Sammy then pile drive Cage onto the tax, went for the cover, and Brian Cage kicked out instantly. Now, despite that, there are some wrestling weapons that are even more dangerous. To find out what they are, watch the video on screen.